For the first time, we're hearing from Sheriff Mike Williams about the man who stood up in front of city council and admitted to molesting children earlier in his life. That statement launched a criminal investigation, but Roy Bay has yet to be arrested. Channel 4's Ashley Mitchum spoke to a former co-worker of Bay's who says how surprised he was about hearing that his friend's story on the news. She's joining us now live. Ashley? Really, the friend that we spoke with says that he's in complete shock as to what was said. He's worked with Roy Bay for about five years in the past and said that nothing like this ever came up in conversation. It's been because Roy is a good friend of mine. Uh, I've been knowing Roy for over 20 years. And this here seems like it's truly out of contact for Roy to say these things. Kevin Sapp says he used to work with Roy Bay at his car dealership from 2005 to 2010. He says they were friends, and when he heard his former co-worker make this statement on the news, he was in complete shock. He did most of my life actually assaulting kids. He never went to jail. The announcement nearly stopped the meeting and left some of his friends skeptical. Uh, we've been, I won't say hanging out, but hanging out the call out here. This never came up about his past. He never mentioned us to us. Uh, we've been in intimate conversations and never came up to where this had happened to him. He always talked about he had a good life, what he, when he, when he came from Missouri, when he got here and everything. So it never came up. We spoke to a forensic psychologist about the case today. Dr. Justin Daranzino says he's not surprised Bay is making these admissions years later. It is not unusual for someone to wait this long to bring up something that's happened to them in the past, such as abuse or even being an abuser. However, the format and platform of doing such is unusual if we're looking at Mr. Bay. We asked Sheriff Mike Williams tonight about the investigation into Bay. He says detectives began working on the case the same night that Bay made the statements. You, you can't stand up in the public and say that you've done those kind of things and expect that to be ignored. And it won't be ignored either. So. Taking a look at Bay's criminal history, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office records show he was arrested in 2007 for driving with a suspended or revoked license. In 2008, he was arrested for driving with a suspended or revoked license and for civil contempt. And most recently, he was arrested for an out-of-county warrant. In an interview with News for Jax on Tuesday, Bay says a man made him do things to young boys in the 70s and 80s. He says the man sexually abused him and arranged meetings with boys in Riverside. But a source tells News for Jax no victims have come forward. The sheriff tells us that Bay is cooperating with the invest investigation. Also, Bay spoke to us and said that if he's arrested and there is a punishment, he'll be more than willing to go along with that punishment. I'm live, Ashley Mitchum, Channel 4, The Local Station.